سلام 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 Choose a path that's right. Believe in Allah every day of our life. We have a book that Allah has preserved from all corruption. We have the Sunnah, the authenticated hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. What excuse, therefore, do we have when our book is preserved? How about the case of democracy? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئة أعمالنا من يحده الله فلا مضل له وما يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وبعد خير الحديث كتاب الله وخير الحد حدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم والشر الأمور محتثاتها وكل محتثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار We begin by praising Allah, we praise Him, we seek His help and we ask for His forgiveness We seek refuge with Allah from the evil of ourselves and from the evil consequence of our evil actions. Whomsoever Allah guides, there is none to misguide. And whomsoever Allah leaves to go astray, there is none to guide. And I testify that Allah alone is worthy of worship and that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his messenger. After that, the best speech is the book of Allah and the best guidance is the guidance of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the worst of all the affairs are those matters that have been newly introduced into the religion of Islam and every matter that is newly introduced into the religion is a bid'ah or an innovation and all of these religious innovations they are by their very nature a going astray from the straight path that has been shown to us by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And whatever deviates and goes astray from the straight path of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is eventually going to lead to the hellfire. The topic Islam and democracy is without doubt in this day and age, a topic that is inevitably going to be controversial. But there is a clue already in what I have just said, that it doesn't need to be a controversial topic, at least certainly for Muslims. Because if we were to transpose ourselves to another time, another era, then the topic would not be one of concern. The concept of democracy did not even exist, except in history, where a small state in Greece practiced a form of governance, which was known by the philosophers of the time, as democracy. And it is very interesting to note that a number of Greek philosophers themselves considered democracy to be a unbefitting and weak and corrupt form of governance. In fact, one of the great Greek philosophers said 
that one of the major problems with democracy, as it was practiced then by the Greeks, was that the leader would always have to pamper to the desires and the whims of the people in order to gain their support. And thus a leader would not be able to take the firm, decisive and conclusive decisions and a leader would not be able to take the morally sound decisions that a leader should. Because by doing so he would have to contradict the opinion of the masses, he would lose their support and therefore would not be able to continue his position.